Okay, to make my autumn leaves, I just dived into my kit box and found what I already had to hand. And what I found was I've got um, an oak leaf cutter and veiner from Orchard Products. And I've got this nifty little set that I picked up last year at the ISIS convention. They were autumn leaves and they were by a company called The Sweet Life. And I will actually put their details on the website for you because I found those very useful. Word of warning though, if you're using plastic cutters, respect them because if you take a chip out of any of the edges, you'll always have a chip. It's not like you can repair it, you've damaged it, so be careful when you sand them down. Also, as veiners, I'm using just a generic rose leaf veiner and I'm actually going to use, I believe this is a geranium veiner. So there you go. Right. Um, as far as the paste, I've rolled out my gun paste pretty much, I'd say, about a millimetre thick. I want it to represent the real leaves in life on this cake. Now, I've done one sort of a really pale yellow, and I've done one sort of green, and what I've done is I've mixed a couple of shades of green in, and I haven't mixed the colour through totally, because having some of the shading on there helps me with my eventual product anyway. So, let's cut one of each of these out. So... As always, make sure your leaves are nice and neatly cut out. No frilly edges if possible. So that's my oak leaf. I think this is a maple leaf. I always run my hand across the back. It helps clean up the edges. Sometimes you will still get them, but it's better safe than sorry. Again, Wipe the excess off there, and the last leaf, I'll just do that one. There. Oops. There you go, right, let's put those to one side, cover them in a bit of plastic. Let's get rid of my cutters. Now, the way I actually vein the oak leaf is I get myself a foam pad, I lay the leaf on it, and then I tend to lay the veiner on top of it and give it one quick press. By doing that, that means I vein the oak leaf. I'm not frilling any of the edges as you'll see because to be honest, I'm probably going to make about one or two hundred leaves for this cake. I don't want to spend the time. Commercially, I'd have to work quickly. So I've got my bit of dimple foam and I'm just going to pop it in there. Bring my other leaves over. Now, with the leaves, you could have used any vein you so chose. Just try to remember what sort of leaf it really is. There you go, I've given that a central vein. And then I use the geranium one because anything like a maple leaf or a leaf that has the vein splayed out, I can use this for. So line that up so it's at the centre there. I'll go in and I don't know what make this veiner is. I've had it many, many years so I, I can't tell you where it's from. So there you go, I've put that in there. I'm not being too kind to my leaves, I'm literally just stuffing them into my dimple foam. Again, that's the smaller one done. Now, these are meant to be leaves that are drying up, so I don't mind if I actually squish my leaf all the way up and then open it up and restuff it in so it's got some kinks and curls in it. That will make all of these a lot more realistic. Thing you have to remember though is, you're gonna to have to dust them. So don't squish them so much you can't get a dusting brush in. Also, all of these are cupped. Don't forget I need some that'll go over corners and be bent that way instead of cupped. Okay, so let's move on and we'll look at dusting these now. <laughs> 